Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I'm going to give an introduction to the book of 2 Peter. This book was written by the Apostle Peter around the year 68 AD. Peter knew he was about to die in Rome, most likely within days or even hours after writing this letter. The tyrant Nero was persecuting Christians and killing them, and Peter was next. So Peter wanted to write his final letter to strengthen the Christians who were spread out throughout the world. Peter wrote the letter and shortly thereafter was crucified upside down and killed. Peter wrote this in four main parts. In the first part, Peter wrote to the believers how they can confirm their calling as Christians. People were wondering how they could be sure that they were chosen by God and called to be a real Christian for real. Many people were pretenders after all. Peter addressed this issue. In the second part, Peter reminded the believers that he was an eyewitness to the things he was writing about. There was no hearsay evidence involved when he wrote about Jesus or Christian doctrines. Peter wanted the believers to know that this was real and extremely serious. And Peter also referred back to the Old Testament prophecies and stated that it was God's direct words to mankind and wasn't just human words. In the third section, Peter addressed false teachers who crept in to try to deceive the Christians in their local congregations. Peter had some harsh words for the heretics after warning the believers what they should watch out for. In the fourth section, Peter spoke about the period of time called the Day of the Lord. Peter focused on the end of that long day and explained that the skies, the heavens, and the stars will disappear with a roar, and the Earth's elements, sometimes called atoms in some circles, sometimes called pixels in some circles, will melt and dissolve away. He said these things for a reason, to get the believers to focus on the time period after the earth and the heavens ceased to exist any longer. Peter told them to focus on the real and lasting things that will endure after this world is gone. Peter told them to focus on their eternal legacy. Have you ever wondered where you are going to go and what you're going to do after the heavens and the earth dissolve away? Peter gives you the answer. Do you accept that answer or do you reject the clear words in the Bible? I want to encourage you to put down your pride and surrender. Are you positive your science is correct? You're betting your eternal soul that it is. That's not a smart bet. Trust what God said in the Bible is true. You won't be put to shame in the end if you do. Repent for your sin, turn from it, and ask God to forgive you. Place your faith in Jesus and what he did on the cross. Believe that the Father raised Jesus from the dead. God said that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and if we believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we would be saved. Why don't you go ahead and do that today? Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the Second Peter series, Give the episodes a thumbs up and share them with someone. See you next time.